Hi everybody, welcome to the Vegas Vegan. I finally broke down and bought myself an ice cream baby. This baby normally costs $110 by Cuisinart, but because I'm a smart shopper, I got it on Amazon Prime for just 50 bucks. So, it says you're supposed to take the inner piece and put it in the freezer for 24 hours, which I did. I want you to see, ooh, all the little icicle. You can see it's frozen. And whatever is in this bucket, like it's super, super cold to the touch right now. So that is gonna keep our ice cream cold. And then this uh, churns the ice cream round and round. This prevents splatter. It comes with a recipe book, so you can do sorbets, nice creams, yogurts, frozen yogurts, smoothie bowls. If you do have frozen fruit, you might want to use a processor, a blender, you know, something like that first, just to break down the chunks, release those juices, so it can better enhance your ice cream. We're going to cruelty-free. It's gonna taste more tropical. It's just gonna be, oh, the bomb delicious and if you have allergens to dairy this recipe is great and i thought why not take a lime and some pineapple and the coconut you can even add some coconut flakes look at those beautiful flakes of coconut mmm flaky flaky <laughs> oh it's unsweetened but it's so good and then dash of salt We've got our tropical pineapple ice cream, homemade, dairy-free. It's going to be amazing. I'm adding just a splash, like a couple drops of vanilla to give it that ice creamy essence. Hang with this video. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into this recipe. First, I begin by using one full cup of coconut milk, and that keeps this recipe dairy-free. I'm adding it to my Ninja processor. Then I'm gonna take some frozen pineapple chunks. You want to make sure that your products are as cold as you can get them. This helps speed up the ice cream making process. So I'm just breaking up the cubes so they can combine really well. And then putting on the lid and we're just going to combine this together and i love this ninja i'm not sponsored but it works so great and look at that it's already beginning to take shape so i'm going to take my fresh lime and squeeze the juice of an entire lime into this recipe so we've got the pineapple and the coconut and the lime see where i'm going with this y'all <laughs> So here I'm taking my full fat coconut milk in a can. And it's really important that you put this in the refrigerator overnight so that all of the fat heavy cream comes to the top. If you don't refrigerate it, you're not gonna get this creamy, delicious consistency. By using this little trick, we're shaving calories because we're not using heavy whipping cream and we're getting the same effect. It's gonna be creamy, dreamy, fluffy. We're adding protein because of the coconut and it's dairy-free, cruelty-free, so it's perfect. And we're saving money because coconut milk is a lot less costly than whipped cream. Here I'm adding just a couple of drops of pure vanilla extract to give it that ice cream essence. And then of course, just a pinch of our Himalayan salts. Now we're gonna combine all of these ingredients together and we're gonna incorporate everything really, really well. Couple minutes on blend. And here is where you get to taste your product before you put it in the Cuisinart. Here, it should be sweet enough because of the pineapple, but for me, I felt it needed a little more. You can add a simple syrup, you can add agave, you can add pineapple juice, whatever you want to enhance, or nothing at all if you're good with how it is. For me, I like things a little sweet. So one last combine, and here we go. So this has been chilling like a villain in our freezer. It's nice and frozen, and whatever's in this little bucket 
is just gonna keep the liquid that we just made, our pineapple ice cream, nice and cold. So I'm going to transfer the liquid from my Ninja processor, and this is how it looks, just like pineapple ice cream. Ooh, I cannot wait. And I only used one cup of coconut milk and one cup or one can of the full fat coconut. So this holds two quarts. This is about a quart and three quarters. If you want to, of course, you could add your coconut flakes, but the hubby doesn't like coconut flakes, so I'm gonna put those on the top. So now this little paddle thing is what will churn and churn and churn. Do I have this in right? Yeah. Okay, it's just that easy. I, I could have read the instructions first, but I'm like a kid with a new toy. Just want to play with it. All right, and it should be as easy as that. Whoa, or not. <laughs> okay, now what? It's on. Okay, something's wrong. So I didn't put this together right. Grooves right here. There you go. There you go. Okay. Are we good? Hmm. Too thick. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So next time I'll read the directions or not. I should have left the paddle in and then poured in the liquid. Instead, it got frozen too fast and the paddle wouldn't fit. But look at this ice cream. Oh my God, it's thickening so fast. I'm in love with this machine. I can't wait to do another video. And next time I'll know how to do it right. These are really huge cups. And look how frozen the sides are. That's really frozen. It's like stuck. It's stuck on the sides. I'm gonna add maybe a bit of that to mine. You know, David, you want some chocolate chips added to yours? No, let's just try it like that first. Look at that. All right. Okay. Now let's taste this. Look at the texture. That is ice cream. That took 20 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Thick, dreamy, creamy. Follow me for more recipes. See you next time on The Vegas Vegan. <laughs>